Uh, if someone has actually never, sorry, if someone has actually <laughs> never seen anything that you've done, what is the first thing you want them watching and why? I think probably watch uh, Four Weddings and a Funeral. Um, that would be the first thing I say. And then you kind of unravel from there and you can go in one direction or you can go in the other. But um, that's a pretty sort of, yeah, it's a good one. You've done a lot of It's short, work. so if you don't like it, you don't have to watch any others. It doesn't take up too much time. <laughs> I don't think anyone would start watching that and be like, oh, this is a bad movie. You know, that, that's that's not going to happen. Um, you've done a lot of theater work, and I, I love talking to actors who've done theater work. Is there a particular place that you love to perform, and what is the favorite place that you love to watch something at? Oh, gosh. Um, that's a really hard question, because that I just love performing um but i think it depends what um but i was lucky enough to be on broadway at um the oh, i've forgotten the name of the theater how awful um i've forgotten the name of the theater anyway i was lucky enough to be on broadway um in a chekhov play called the seagull and it was the first time a chekhov play had been put on on broadway and it was just the most fantastic experience it was bringing Chekhov and particularly that play The Seagull to that audience was just one of the great thrills of my life but it's a huge theatre it's like 1200 seats or something and then another really great experience in the theatre has been playing to really small audiences of sort of 300 people you know it just changes every time it's really great. Um, jumping into why I get to talk to you I want to start with congrats on the show uh, my favorite part is when episode six ended and there was a tease for the next six because I wasn't I didn't know that was happening and I was very happy. Um, what was it about this, these scripts and this material that said, oh, I want to do this? I think it's the mixture of tension and humor and um, the riveting plot and the plot within a plot within a plot. You know, the people's um, how people let their sort of narcissism and, and, and their ideas and their own personal ambitions get in the way of their sense um, and how, how well observed these characters are, how Mick Heron has created these characters and then, and then Will Smith has done something else with them. And, and it's, it's, it's really, you know, and, and it brought in new ones and changed others and, you know, sort of made a whole different thing that holds up really, really well. Um, and I think that, you know, that, that, whole, that whole genre is not something that I'm particularly drawn to as an actor. I mean, I like watching it quite, but it's not something that I'm, I'm going to sort of, oh, there's a new spy thing, I, I must watch it. Um, but I th think the, the study of people in it is really, really great. I'm really interested in people. You know, I like seeing how people behave in certain way in certain situations. And I think that um, the characters are all so well developed. Um, yeah, I think that's what pleased me. And the humor in it, because there's such such a lot of humor. And I've never read anybody like Jackson Lamb on, on paper. And I've never, I hope we've never discover anyone else like Jackson Lamb on film. I, I think that's also, uh, um, and, and Gary is just so good at Jackson. You know, um, uh, but one of the things I like about it, or one of the many things, is that you typically see spies, like a spy show is about the best of the best. And this is not about the best of the best. It's, you know, it's about real people um, with humor, as you said. Yeah, about real people who've been doing their best, but their best isn't good enough. Um, and that is a very relatable thing. You know, people, are, people make mistakes and, and sometimes it's the end of the world and sometimes it isn't. And um, the whole film, the thing even, I'm not going to say what it, what it starts with, but, um, you know, it is, it's very, very, um, it's easy to identify with these characters, I think, apart from perhaps Diana Tavener, but that was my job. <laughs> right. With, with actually, with your character, do you think, is there a line that she will not cross or is everything fair game in the pursuit of justice, if you will? Um, for herself, justice for herself. Um, yeah, yeah, it is. Everything is fair game. Uh, she will yeah. not. She will stop at nothing. She has no redeeming qualities that we have discovered yet.
I, I'm wondering how that's going to be happening in the next six or if there's anything, you know. Who knows? <laughs> if One of the things I love about uh, is talking with people about the way things are made, um, like learning things that I, you wouldn't normally hear about. So for soon to be fans of this series, is there anything that you think they might be like surprised to learn about the making of the show? Well, we made it in um, lockdown um, with very strict rules about what we were allowed to do, what we weren't allowed to do. Um, so that was a that was a bit of a challenge, you know, because it's very, as you know, and we all, I think everyone on the most, you know, most people knew how difficult it is to communicate when half of your face is, is, is um, dissimile, um, hidden. Um, and, you know, that was, that required extra concentration. What I found to be particularly challenging, because I've never done it before, was long form TV. And um, I had a, a conversation with my co actor um, Sophie Ocnedo about this because she does has done a lot of it and she says no it's really difficult you really have to pace yourself and you have to get used to keeping things you can't you have to remain concentrated for a much 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 longer period because you can't go away for the six weeks that you've got off between one scene and the next time you're needed you can't go away and forget about it all you have to keep it all there and that is I find that really really difficult um, not it's not about forgetting but it's about being in the atmosphere and being in the thick of it because you want to be in the thick of it you want to be in the in the in the world of um of regent's park or in the world of um slough house you want to be in the world of the canal at night time um you want to be able to dive in there straight away and it's really hard to do when there's a huge great separation of weeks months sometimes between each time you shoot a day, do a day's work um and it was it was very challenge very very challenging that to me that's so interesting. you didn't never got a momentum you know you're all like stop 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 that's so interesting I, I wouldn't even have thought about that but um um uh, or I already have to go I'm just gonna say <laughs> uh, again I'm a really big fan thank you so much for giving me your time and thank I wish you. you nothing but the best Thank you very much, you too.